Hello, welcome to Shad Life. This is a big box. I've been taking this out of the box. There's the lid. Um, what this is, is an e-bike. And it's not mine. <laughs> so, a friend of mine has decided to order this e-bike. And I said, well, I'll just have it shipped to my place and I will put it together for you. So, I might as well take this opportunity to talk about it on my channel a little bit. Um, it's a commuter bike and we'll talk a little bit about it once I get it down into the basement and in the bike stand. Okay, here it is in the stand. That was a lot of work. <laughs> Getting it out of that box, down into the basement and in the stand. Hopefully my stand's rated for this weight because this thing's heavy. E-bikes are heavy. It's got the mid-drive motor, the batteries, and the down tube. So what is this? This is a Canyon Pre-Seed AL, or Pre-Seed On AL, I believe they call it. Um, in Canyon speak, anything with the On after it means it's their e-bikes. Um, this was on sale for $19.99, and this is why I convinced her to get this bike, um, because she said she wanted an e-bike and wanted to spend under three thousand dollars um so i was like oh that's going to be tough because all the e-bikes that i've seen that are at least good quality components not these things you see <laughs> in ads all the time that are getting shipped from china and stuff with rear hub drive motors and all of that um i always believe in quality in higher end stuff when it especially when it comes to e-bikes um you want something you know that's that's well made and it's not going to catch fire when you're charging it because it's some cheap battery made in china or something right so three thousand dollars i was like hmm that might be challenging and i saw on canyon site that they had these on sale for 19.99 i was like holy moly and not only that this is a bosch performance sport motor this is a class 3 e-bike so it will do up to 28 miles per hour um and it's got the whole bosch motor battery everything that's well known well trusted high quality like i was shocked that this was that low of a price so once again <laughs> canyon pulls through dr shimano dr um just really good i don't know how many speeds it is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven awesome so it's got some water bottle mounts it looks like or something you can put back here or maybe that's an extra battery if you wanted to go extra long. i don't know i don't know a whole lot about this bike <laughs> except for the fact that i know for the money it's a killer deal um so yeah i'm gonna finish assembling this i got the front wheel on got to put the pedals on obviously have to charge it and then i'm gonna go pedal it around test it make sure everything's working uh fine before i give it to her um and i think she's gonna be happy with this um step through they do make a regular frame same price so if you're not a fan of the step through style, you can get the one that has an actual top tube. Um, for e-bikes, to me, it doesn't matter. You're not gonna be jumping them or doing anything crazy. And if you are carrying loads, it's kind of nice to be able to step through, but I think some people, they prefer the look of a more traditional frame. So, so pretty wild. I think it's a carbon fork, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know how Canyon does it, but there you go. Um, yeah, let's uh, get this finished and take it for a spin. Cool, now that I have it all charged up, I can take it for a spin. But before I take it for a spin, let's just show you a couple of cool things. Um, you have your little controller, which is just your standard Bosch little controller. Um, when you power it on, you have your different modes, eco, Tour Sport Turbo, pretty cool. Um, let me go back down, right? 
um, one of the cool things is, is this has built-in lights, right? So if we go here and you push and hold the top button, so it's all the standard functionality, it'll turn on the lights. You'll see the little indicator right there. And it has built-in lights, even one in the back. Pretty cool. I like that. Um, so no need to like have extra lights or carry lights with you. And then you just press and hold until that goes off, right? And this one, pressing and holding, just gives you your different, um, like your trip distance, your odometer, so on and so forth, right? And uh, range is kind of nice if you want to always have range showing so you know how much you have left. Um, so there you go. Pretty cool. Nice bike. Comes with kind of these, you know, plastic kind of meh pedals i would upgrade the pedals if you want a little bit better traction but for what most people use e-bikes for they'll probably just use those um this strap is cool it even comes with kind of a stretchy velcro strap so you can <laughs> stick stuff on the rack if you want to put panniers on here you can so on and so forth it's got fenders of course so if it rains you don't get all wet i mean really well equipped the bike especially for $19.99 all right let's go ride this thing it's actually pretty comfortable it's fairly upright there isn't any way to adjust the handlebars so I'm glad that <laughs> it's pretty upright right out of the box so probably not a need <laughs> to get uh, updated handlebars but that's kind of one of the weak things about this bike is that having this one piece handlebar stem combo doesn't allow you to uh, put in a higher rise bar or change your kind of body position um, the brakes definitely need to be bedded in, <laughs> that's for sure. And I'm just an eco, and this thing's pretty easy to pedal around. And um, I mean, <laughs> it just gets crazier and crazier. Of course, this bike's top speed. <laughs> it gives you assist all the way. 28 miles per hour, so. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a riot. All right, let's see how it climbs this hill. I'm gonna put it in tour, and I've said this before, if you don't have much experience with e-bikes, don't use your assist level to, like, climb hills and stuff you do like you do a normal bike and downshift gears because i downshift and the assist kicks in and i just go right up the hill don't leave it in a hard gear and then put this in turbo that doesn't work what works is downshifting just like you would if it wasn't an e-bike and you'll trust me eco tour sport especially you don't what I see most people doing on e-bikes is they just push this to turbo, they don't downshift, and then you see them pedaling really hard, and it's not very effective. <laughs> um, the effective thing to do, oh gosh, turbo, is to downshift into an easier gear and spin, and you get into that ideal torque mode. I talk about this like driving a manual transmission on a car. You downshift at slower speeds. You downshift to find that sweet spot. You don't like run at like <clears throat> 1,000 or 2,000 RPM in a manual transmission and then just mash on the gas to try to get up the speed. You downshift into an easier gear. So that's what you want to do on an e-bike. Use your gears just like a regular bike. And you'll get plenty of assistance, even in eco mode, like this, even in eco mode, the spikes. 
Yep. That's how it works. Yep. This bike's super comfortable. It's actually not too jarring over the bumps, which sometimes aluminum bikes can be, especially e-bikes with the such big tubing. But it's actually pretty comfortable going over bumps and stuff. That Beano Boost they used to have, which I sold, <laughs> that thing was harsh over bumps. It was so jarring. That is one main reason why I got rid of that bike. It was just not a comfortable bike to ride. And every bump just jarred right through my bones. This bike doesn't feel like that. So there you have it. The Canyon Precede on AL in the step through variation. Um, when I looked at this, the range was 65 miles. That's really going to depend on how you use this. If you stay in eco, yes, you might get that much range on it. But if you're going into, you know, tour and turbo and or tour sport and turbo, that's going to reduce your range. So just keep that in mind. Oh, it also comes with the kickstand. Everything you see here, the bike comes with out of the box. So there you have it. Quite a bike. <laughs> Level three, $19.99 absolutely amazing this isn't my bike i'll be giving it to the person that bought it all i did was assemble it for them bed in the brakes and make this video so <laughs> there you have it i appreciate your support from my channel please like and subscribe peace